Hi, welcome to UniversityNinja.com's video tutorials. Today we're going to be training you how to get a cheaper textbook, a lot cheaper than the other examples that we've given before. Um, in this case, it's going to take a little bit more effort on your part, slightly, and a little bit more inv investigation. Um, a lot more of the details is put on the website, uh, so read up on that. Uh, essentially, we talked about this in an, another example um, for, in this particular case, a textbook that um, I have to have for a particular class. And in this case, this textbook is the most recent edition. In, in this case, it was the fifth edition. Now, some professors are willing to let you use the previous edition of a textbook, uh, let's say the fourth edition or something. And I mentioned already that the only really big difference in some textbooks is really the problems and if your professor is okay with you doing that then you might as well just use the fourth edition textbook um, versus the fifth edition and you may be wondering why well only do this if you're really trying to save on money um, you can save a lot more money if you're using a previous edition because obviously the previous edition is obsolete and you can probably get those books for a lot cheaper so Again, let's just start here at the bookstore. You can see the price of the book. Um, you can find the book on Amazon. Here you'll also find this information. So here on the Amazon site, they have the latest edition here, but you can also find other editions down here, which you might be interested in. Um, there's the hardcover and also the paperback edition that's there as well. So here's the hardcover edition for the previous book. And you're like, what the? it's hundred and thirty six dollars and you're wondering why am I paying a few dollars cheaper for the previous edition well it's probably still fairly recent and a lot of teachers haven't necessarily reverted back to a previous edition but let's keep digging around um, here's a paperback edition of of that same book it, um, but for the four uh, the same edition the fourth edition book but in paperback form quite reasonably be cheap quite reasonably cheaper I mean if you don't mind having a paperback edition it's perfectly fine uh, you can save even more money. Now, let's go back to the third-party websites and see if they can be of uh, of any help as well. Now, earlier I showed you this in a previous tutorial, and I did a search on mechanics and materials, and I purposely ignored this, but um, you'll notice here that the textbook shows up here, and this is the fourth edition uh, of the textbook and here it you can find the best price for twenty dollars um, maybe even cheaper let's see and that's also the fourth edition so you can actually get the book for twelve dollars and I don't know um, you know you can find it from this person so around you know 20 bucks for the actual book, which is not a really bad deal. It's also a hardcover. It's used. It might be probably a little bit beat up, but I mean the, the material is still usable. So the point the point I'm trying to get across is instead of spending $184 to buy the latest edition of a book, I was able to skimp on this and buy a book for 12 bucks. Now, again, talk to your professors ask them if it's okay. In this case my professor was fine with letting us use the previous edition of a book. I obviously just purchased the the fifth edition but he offered the opportunity to use the fourth edition so check this opportunity out. It's a great way to save over a hundred dollars. I mean look at that. It's a lot of money. Um, and again good luck with that. So this is www.universityninja.com and if you have any questions send us an email um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.